Hi, you guys. Welcome to a sort of part two of a new series that I started last month. This is my Indie Sewing Pattern Roundup. It's like all the new patterns that the Indie Pattern Designers are releasing. You can see um, I did one for August, but it didn't include all the new patterns because I'm new to this and my research was not thorough. So I thought I would come back and do a part two for August. I know that it's October. <laughs> If you know me, you know me, right? I do have September's teed up, ready to go. Um, and I've already started October's list. So this is definitely going to be a recurring thing. If you like these videos, thank you so much for letting me know. Um, I've added it to the rotation. So for August, I have added, this part has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten patterns that I missed in August. So um, if you missed the part one, you can go check that out. And this is part two. So again, we're going to kind of look at all the patterns. We're, it's kind of like a first impression video, but not totally because I've kind of seen sneak previews of these online. Um, but we're just going to look at them and kind of get a feeling for, you know, what they are and any anything that kind of pops into my head. All right. So first up is the Love Notions Tenley Shorts, Skirt, and Skort. Three patterns or three styles and one pattern. I love that. The pricing for Love Notions is always spot on. I think this must be like an introductory introductory discount maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But um, the Tinley is um, straight shorts, full shorts, straight skirt, and full skirt. And then you can add the shorts underneath the skirt to get a squirt. Like, duh. Um, it comes in sizes extra small to 5X and made in either knit or woven. I think that that's interesting. Let's see. Okay. Before I give an opinion, let me look. Four body styles. We talked about that. All include bike shorts. Okay. I think the bike shorts. Add the included bike shorts. Okay. So those have to be a knit. You can't have woven bike shorts, right? That would be weird. Flat front waistband with elastic back, meant for knit or wovens. Confident beginner, I agree with that. And then here's all of your, you know, not important stuff. Well, it's important if you're gonna buy it, but not, <laughs> not super important for the purposes of this video. Can I not make this big? Here we go, full screen. All right, so straight short, full short, skort. And did she make this like a whole, wow, what a zoom. <laughs> did she make this like a whole dress? That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. I missed the waistband with little buttons. That's so cute. Um, front slash pockets also. Then you can see here, it's the skirt with the shorts. Cute. Okay, so this is the full skirts, full shorts. Man, this is complicated to explain. So do the full, I'm now I'm getting really confused because it looks like there's little shorts under there, right? But I don't think so because it would look like a ghost like this one. Okay. So again, with indie patterns, most of the photos are not real models. They are not like professional seamstresses. They're just hobbyists like the rest of us. A lot of them are like pattern testers. Um, so we're really not going to talk about their look, their modeling ability. <laughs> we're going to talk about any of that. We're just going to talk about the pattern. Um, I will address some fit issues as I see them pop up that are not related to their specific bodies. Okay. Um, like this one, for example, I do think that her waist is a lot higher than she's wearing this. Um, which means she could probably size down a couple of sizes. Again, too, that kind of plays in on comfort a little bit. Not everybody likes to wear their stuff high-waisted. But if I think if you're going, well, what is the intent of the pattern, actually, now that you mention it? If the intent is at your natural waist, hers is a little bit higher, then she could size down, and then it would be a little less full. This is also a little bit stable of a fabric that I would choose for the full skirt. This is exceptional. Fit is great. Fabrication is excellent. I do wish we could see the little buttons if they added them. 
No buttons. Okay. And then you can see the elastic channels. It looks like we have three of them. Cool. Yep. And then it's like a, kind of like a, oh, what is that called? When it's this long? Oh boy. Ah, I can't think of it. Maybe it'll pop in my head in a second. Okay. Here's a, oh, well that's a skirt, but it's also, oh, there we go. That's a good zoom. Um, I think this is the skirt version, but it's also a great, um, a look at a drapey fabric that would be suitable for that full short version as well. Yeah. And the fit is really good. Maybe a little bit higher, but fits well, looks good on her. Fabric is great. Great choice. The little drapes in it are really pretty. Okay. Here's a knit version. Okay. So nice waistband, knitted skirt. Um, you can see like the folds in it are really pretty. Here's the straight shorts on a plus size. Love that they showed this. Now, if you've been watching any of my first impression videos, you know I just have this thing about hands in pockets for photos because I can't tell how the pockets are sitting. I'm assuming based on like how her hands are and how much like folds are in here that the pockets do stand away from her body a little bit. That would be my thing is that I, I it's really hard for me to get slash pockets to stay, um, like don't gape open, you know, cause I'm just so curvy at that area on my body. Um, so if I make something that's close fitting like that, I usually just omit the pockets, maybe add a patch pocket to the back or something, but look how adorable this cute little skirt is. Right. And I don't know if she added the biker shorts underneath, but this fabric is great. This is probably some kind of like twill or something, you know, perfect for the slimmer skirt. Oh yeah. I mean, just absolutely impeccable fit. Look at that perfectly perpendicular line. So good. Excellent work. Cute fabric too. Just cute little outfit altogether. Okay, here's another straight skirt, hands in pockets. This looks like it's the flowy skirt, only because I'm not seeing a seam here. But again, really great with the fabrication there. Okay, I'm going to start going a little bit quicker because there's a lot. I think there's like, look, 70 pictures. That's a lot of photos. So let's keep it moving. Okay, here's an example of knit skirt with knit biker shorts underneath. You just have to make sure that the biker short size that you pick is suitable for the amount of stretch that's in that specific knit. Um, normally you would want something kind of athletic, but if you're using a fashion fabric so that it matches, you just have to make sure it has enough stretch. It doesn't have to be super skin tight. It doesn't, you know, it shouldn't be super loose, but it doesn't have to be that, that fitted. The whole goal here is just that you're not showing your bits to everybody and that you reduce the shaving. Pretty, right? You'd never know there's shorts under there. Lovely. I want to see. Okay. Yes. This is what I want to see. First of all, do I have this fabric? I don't know. She made a little set. How cute. I think this is their, um, oh shoot, I made this at Sew Expo a few years ago, whenever they did it virtually. Cadence? I think that's a cadence as a top. But, and then there's a little skirt, and we know she put the shorts under, right? So cool. Love that. More straight shorts. I think that must be the flowy shorts. Oh, cute. Yep, more flowy shorts. So pay attention to the fabrication. That's important. Another cute set. Love that. <laughs> oh, that's an excellent, excellent fit. And look at that pattern matching, that plaid matching. Oh, yeah, that looks exceptional on her. Girlfriend, give us some fit tips on straight shorts with curvy bodies, please. Does anybody know who that is? Does anybody recognize her? <laughs> let, me, let me zoom in. 
Um, I would definitely reach out for, to her for tips on fitting. Cute. Yeah. Okay. You guys get the idea, right? Lots and lots of pictures to look through if you want to go. Oh, wait, we're at the end. So I guess I'll just finish up here. All right. There we go. Now we're at the beginning. So that's the Love Notions Tinley. Very practical, sort of a year-round situation. You could even extend these to be longer um, and have like year-round pants, shorts, and skirts. Well, I guess pants and skirts. <laughs> okay, next up is the George and Ginger flip-flop top. Okay, the flip-flop top is a sweet... How do I get to read all this? Oh boy, there we go. Sweet and simple strappy top, perfect for layering or worn on its own with a classic binding bag detail. Okay, um, this pattern is sure to be a staple. Okay, suggested fabric, light to medium weight, two-way or four-way stretch two-way or four-way knit with 50% stretch. This reminds me a lot of that pajama. They have like a, a, I guess, nighttime, nighty type of thing that has this same neckline and same little tee back, um, but it's four wovens, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't wear it much because the fabric I used for it is just not comfortable to sleep in and it's not long enough to lounge in, I guess. Like if I'm lounging, I want to be able to answer the door and stuff if I need to um, or walk the dogs. So I don't wear it as much as I should. I might have actually given it away when I just moved. But this is another version of that in a knit as a little tank top. Yeah, it's cute, right? It's just kind of a basic um, but George and Ginger is really, really, really good at knits. Like, I think all of their patterns are knits. So if you want to get into knits, you're curious, you want to, you know, take a sip of the Kool-Aid and see if you like it, George and Ginger is a great place to start. Um, I, don't, I hope you guys cannot hear my stomach. My gosh. Um, all right. So, yeah, lots of photos there. Although this one looks totally different. So, um, but yeah, cute little tank top from George and Ginger and priced right, right? Okie dokie, now we have the green style. I'm gonna say Brinny, it might be Briny, but Brinny sounds prettier, uh, pa uh, top pattern. So the Brinny top is perfect for swim or active. Clever one shoulder design provides added comfort and support and the optional extra strap and included two inch full bus adjustment option makes it customizable for added support if desired more like if needed <laughs> enjoy freedom of movement whatever your activity with this okay got it so here are our line drawings you have the one shoulder asymmetry just right off of the pages of places like um kate hudson's fabletics right and then this must be hmm I don't know how these are different other than these little darts here. So I'm guessing this is the fuller bust option. And then we have the little skinny strap. So it's a wide strap and a skinny strap. Love that. Fabric stretch, fabric requirements, all of that. So cool. All right. Again, this is one of those places that has a gajillion and eight um, photos. So we'll go quickly through them. But you can see the... Oh, I was not expecting a skull to just appear. It is October, my goodness. Um, love that photo, though. Like, really cute. But yeah, there's 53 photos. So let's get through the basics here. So that's the... what That's the one with the skinny strap added, obviously. Um, you can also tell how it's kind of, like, like lined. Um, so you could put cups in if you wanted. Yep, they're skinny and full strap together cute i mean who doesn't need a donut sports bra let's be real because you're working out and all you're thinking about is donuts <laughs> one strap oh, that's great on her that's the two strap option nice big wide waistband too i really like to see that and i mean look at this full bust coverage you i mean that i don't know i don't have a full bust but i gotta imagine that's hard to find and ready to wear for you guys that looks really good Yep, two straps. I like the contrast on that one. Little neon action. That looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Maybe it could have made it a skosh shorter, but 
that's just me being really nitpicky. That looks so good. What a cute little, a cute little swimsuit. Or honestly, even a top. She could put a skirt on with that and like go out to dinner for sure. There's a little set. There's the two strap option. All right, we're getting it, right? So cute. Love this. I'll definitely be considering this the next time I'm looking for active wear. I'm not a one strap person. I got to be honest with you. I, I think I don't, for me, on me, I think it looks weird. So I think I'll be adding the little baby strap. But yeah, and look, I think um, that Greenstown must have a whole bunch of biker shorts and swim bottoms that you can mix and match with as well. I'd be surprised if they didn't have that also listed here. Like pair with. But maybe that's just how my marketing brain works. Like this goes great with this. Um, what is the price? $12. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot to me. Um, for just, yeah, but I guess you pay for the quality. Right? And those did look really, really good. Am I wrong? Or am I right? <laughs> okay, this is the new Sinclair Linda Twist Top. Sinclair is cranking out patterns left and right. So you're going to be hearing about them a lot during this series. But $10.99 is the price point. Fitted at the shoulders, bust, and hips. Semi-fitted at the waist. Twist neckline top and dress. Offered with sporty short. I don't know what that means. Offered with sporty short short three quarters and long sleeves and also has a sleeveless option comes in three lengths for the top hip banded and hemmed and long line length comes as a dress peplum top with a waistline seam. I feel like this was written either by AI or written exclusively for SEO. Like this is not how people talk. So that's kind of hard for me to, I mean, I understand what they're saying, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be bullet points or something. But we have view A is short with three quarter sleeves. View B is a long sleeve top. View C is sleeveless dress with pockets. And they all have that twist feature. Oh, some of the pictures show the Linda with a flared or puff sleeve add-on. It would be, okay, it is a link. Yes, maybe underline that. Okay, so sizing, um, yeah, 0 to 30 on the size range, um, 3 out of 10 skill level, 2 to 3 hours to finish, light to medium weight, draping knit fabrics with at least 30 to 50% horizontal stretch and vertical stretch and good recovery. Um, okay, let's look at some of these photos. Oh, are there not? Review site. Oh, is that it? I think this might be it. Oh my gosh, my stomach. All right. Well, I wanted to see the dress. Oh, wait, here we go. Hold on. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I'm assuming that's view A. What was the difference between view A and B again? Oh boy. just the sleeves and then you can do two different band options okay all right so a b the twist top is cute it's one of those things where it's like you know we've had a lot of twist top patterns come out over the years um they're just putting the twist in different places we've seen them at the like empire waist we've seen them at the hip line this one just happens to be at the top it is a cute little twist on a basic, which I, no pun intended, but I really like basics with a twist. Um, I could see myself wearing this possibly. I want to see the dress. Show me the dress. Oh, here's a little tank top version. Everybody's fits really well. I mean, the length is a little bit long for my personal taste, but... Um, you know, everybody's looks really good. I don't see any weird wrinkles or anything. I think people are just choosing 
how fitted they want it to be on their hip when they pick their size, you know? And that's kind of personal preference. Oh, color blocked. There's the lovely dress. Okay, yeah, it's reading a little bit more maybe mature than I would have thought. This can be the um, length of the bodice is a little bit long as well, or at least on her, I think. On her actually looks pretty good, but I don't know if she made any adjustments, so. Ooh, this one looks pretty. Still, you know, it's very conservative, right? Like, it would be for like, you know, a conservative activity, depending on your lifestyle, that can vary. For some people, going out to dinner is a conservative activity. For other people, it's not. Um, but yeah, that print is really nice. Oh, and you guys can see here how long the waistband is. It really needs, this is the waistband, which I think it is. It needs to be right here, right here. So just double check the length of the bodice and you should be good. Okay, cute. Next, we have the Pattern Emporium Walk Boldly Wide Leg Pants. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for pants, guys. Like, if you're wanting to try pants, ten dollars is not, you know, a lot of money to spend to get a, a pants pattern. Let's see how good it is. Um, Designed to deliver both style and comfort. Designed for stretch knit fabrics with elastane. These pants feature wide legs, optional faux fly, high or mid rise, and more. I love that you get the option of high or mid rise because I get that high rise is not for everybody, but you guess what? Mid rise also isn't for everybody. <laughs> um, so fast and easy, pocket free, or select from our five different pocket styles. Wow. Um, and then they always do a good job of showing off the pattern. So if you want even more information, you can go check out this YouTube video. Um, features, wide band, or sorry, waistband with elastic, snug but not tight, slight ease through hips, butt darts, or I guess waist darts in the back, sizes four to 30. And that explains the five pockets. So much info here that you guys can look through. Let's look at the photos because that's how I get my best understanding of the pant. All right. So line drawing. I mean, it's a beautiful little pull on. Think of like a, yeah, like a Ponty pant. I can't read any of this because it doesn't get any bigger. Like it doesn't zoom in any. Um, I love the double darts on each side, the four dots darts across. Love that. Um, especially for us pear shapes. Here are the five pockets you can choose. This is Kate. I, oh, now it's zooming. This is Kate, I think, the owner and designer behind Pattern Emporium. So um, hers is obviously going to look really good because she's, you know, the mastermind. I'm hoping those are the mid-rise. No. Oh, come on. Like super loungy. Like um, skims. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, with the patch pocket. Two totally different looks there from the orange ones to this one. And then we've got this. Now, this is an interesting <laughs> thumbs in pockets. Okay, that's new. Um, Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. This is becoming very sensitive. Um, But you can see she used kind of like, I, I'm guessing that's probably a French terry. I also think you can probably skip the faux fly top stitching if you're doing it on um, something really drapey. Oh no, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know what that is. But, you know, drapey, probably really stretchy. I love the little contrast pocket, but kudos to you for a well pocket, man. That's not for the faint of heart. But look, she's wearing these basically pajama pants out with a nice button up, some cute little heels or boots or whatever. And, like, she doesn't look like she's wearing pajamas. She looks great. Black is always hard to see, so we're going to skip that one. But, yeah, think about, like, an elevated jogger situation. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, look how chic she looks. I don't know if she's a realtor, but she should be. She looks like she's ready to sell some houses. Uh, 
yeah, exceptional. Exceptional. So good. Love it with this wide tank for her body type. That looks so good on her. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, these are good with little sneakers. So cute. And then here's the shorts version. And then another pants version. Okay. Yeah, lots of photos. Again, there's a little set. Man, these are piquing my interest. Look how good they look on her little pear shape. That's the high-waisted version. Oh, gosh. I really like these. I mean, every figure, every body type, they look good on everyone. This might be just a little bit too big for her. I know she's popping into her left leg, but all these drag lines going to the uh, crotch line, I think that either... The, I think the crotch line is just too deep. She might be like petite. Yeah, for sure. You can see here the inseam is just too long. Here's a little set that looks like a, a um, what's it called? A jumpsuit. I'm thinking about the fabrics that I got in New York. Would any, no, those are mostly wovens. I did get that one chevron, but I'm not making chevron pants, I don't think. Such cute style of all of these girls. Look at this. Why does that look like leather? Man. And she's the classic upside down triangle. So fuller on top and then straight down. The wide, the, the shape of the leg on these is what is so good. Yeah, these look incredible on everyone. Okay, all right, I'm sold. I'm gonna get them um, 10 bucks, yeah, for sure. For sure. I might even make this October's Sew Together pattern. If you're not already following me on Patreon, that's where Sew Together lives. We like pick a pattern every month and we all sew it and we talk about it and I can help you with fit and all of that stuff. So um, check out my Patreon. It's linked in the description box. Okay, so Made for Mermaids released three patterns. Two of them went to their Barbell collection, which is like their athletic collection. And one of them went into like a resort collection. So um, I love that they have the collections. I love that they have the collections because it, you know, if I'm looking for active wear, I know to go to barbell. If I'm looking for like a vacation dress, I know to go to resort. Um, and then they just keep adding to it. So it's not like some people will do collections and they release the collection like at one time and then that's it. We never go back to it. Um, I think, I think, uh, yeah, George and Ginger does that a lot. But their collections are also really, really specific to like a theme, not just like a lifestyle or an event or something. Anyways, this is the Eden shorts and leggings. And then they also released the Myra, which is its companion like sports bra top. So we'll look at Eden first, but I imagine we're going to see a lot of both of them in both of these listings. Um, 12 bucks for just the pants. Okay. Eden is a classic fitted athletic legging. They have no side seam and include a full inseam gusset. Love that. The full inseam gusset means ankle to crotch to ankle. This is how um, Lululemon does their leggings. Um, for ease and comfort, choose from three rise options, low, mid, and high. Three lined waistband options, plain, ruched, and front ruched. Okay, that's cheating a little bit. It's really only two and then you just mix and match, but okay. It also includes six hemlines, three and a half inch shorts. Um, that's what I wear underneath all of my dresses. Three and a half inch seam, three and a half inch inseam biker shorts, which is what these are essentially. Um, eight inch bike shorts. Think about Princess Diana back in the day with her bike shorts and the oversized sweatshirts. That's what those are. You have, and then you have the seven eighth inch length, which is like ankle and then full length. And the full length is two options too, depending on if you're really tall, very thoughtful. All right. Knit fabrics, blah, 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 blah. I read all that already. Um, here's a lot of sizing information fits up. Oh, sizes include, oh, the natural waist range is this. What's preferred waist? That must be a little bit lower. 
fits full hip here. Look, fits upper thigh, this to this. Fits mid thigh, this to this. Fits calves, this to this. That's so interesting. No, not everybody does that. Um, fabric content will address, uh, affect drape and fit, duh. Uh, drafted for medium weight knits. Drafted for mid-weight knits with four-way stretch, great recovery, and a minimum of 50% horizontal stretch and 50% vertical stretch. Look for high spandex content, 5% minimum, but prefer 12 to 25. I mean, I don't see anybody getting this detailed. The higher the spandex content and heavier weight knits will feel tighter and give more compression. And then if you want an athletic look, here are some examples of words that you can search online. Um, and then more casual, here are some words you can search there. I love everything about this listing. So good. Optional clear elastic and then just the basics to sew it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There's a, also a, a ton of photos here. So, um, we're going to go through them pretty quickly because again, I think we're going to see a lot of repeats, um, on the next listing too, but here are the line drawings. Love to see it. Right. You get all the options there. A lot more about measurements that you can look through. Okay, again, try and just look at the shorts. I almost wish they would have made one of these photos cropped so that you could just see the shorts and not the whole outfit. But you get the gist, right? Biker shorts. Pretty straightforward stuff. I don't see anything wrong with fit. Nothing is jumping out at me. You can see the... Um, gusset here. I actually, if you would have said color block the gusset, I would have been like, that's weird, but I actually kind of love it. It's really cool and interesting. Um, you could even add one to the outer edge too and have two of them. Very creative. But yeah, everyone looks like they got a good fit for the fabric that they chose, right? That's, that's what I'm picking up. Like, like the... Athletic ones aren't too loose and the lounge ones aren't too tight. Oh, here's another. That was another color blocked gusset. Love that. Yeah, mixing up the waistbands. Okay. Now this is Myra. Yeah, she's also $12. Sometimes they will do bundles. Look into that to see if you can buy like two and get a percentage off because then you could get both of these. But Myra is an athletic knit top full of options. The front bodice has a soft sweetheart neckline and the back bodice is scooped. Choose from plain or ruched front bodice. The ruching is created with a quarter inch elastic. Super easy to do. It sounds intimidating, but it's really not. There are three plain, plain back hemline options. Sports bra, crop top, or top. The sports bra is fully lined. The plain back, crop, and top. The plain back crop and top can be finished with your choice of a lining or a shelf bra. So you can put a shelf bra in here. I love that. Um, sports bra and shelf bra are finished with one inch knit elastic that is enclosed at the hemline and optional sew in cups. Choose from three different sleeve options, narrow or wide straps, cap sleeve or ruched sleeves. Add clear elastic to the sleeve and neckline for added support. Myra is perfect for all of these activities. Okay. So here's all that we went over again. Here's all the very specific sizing stuff again. And then this is going to be the same information, I think, as the shorts. All right, let's take a look. See how they cropped her here? I wish they had done that for the shorts. But this is like a top. Like, I would wear that to Target. Maybe not with this. D definitely not with that. Who am I kidding? But I would wear something high-waisted with it. Or like a big oversized like coat or something. All right. So, wow. Look at that's all of our options. Um, she didn't really mention this, right? Back view, lined, cropped, open back. There is an open back option. I don't remember reading that. Maybe, I was going really fast. Maybe I just missed it. But um, there is this cute little like cutout version, which is really fun. Size charts and whatnot. Okay. That's the skinny strap. I think that's wide strap. Look how beautiful the sweetheart looks on her. That's a little uh, cap sleeve with the open back. So you can see how that looks. 
it's funny you can see through these photos how they were losing sun on this one i only know this because i'm you know make videos oh um they had like five minutes <laughs> of sunlight left on that really orange one I'm sure they were busting it, but you can see here how the sun is setting for her. And then they get to this girl and it's like, here comes the sun. <laughs> okay. Little weird things I notice on the internet. All right. So there's the skinny strap one again, I think. That's also, that's gotta be the cropped version. And that's the top version. The top is so sweet. Yeah. And then there's the top with the, um, with the shelf bra underneath, perfect for yoga or ballet. She just looks like a ballerina, right? Yeah, cute. Love it. I'd make a thousand of these. Yeah, I love it in this print. So good. But I can't do baby pinks. My eyeballs like baby pink. My skin tone does not like baby pink. Okay, here is a plus size, full busted woman looks so good we might be getting a little bit of tension here on the straps like not enough support um but i wonder if i knew her i would ask her do you feel like you have to pull it up a lot i think i think the ways around that would be to put some um, mesh line it with mesh or something more sturdy than your actual fabric um and then make it maybe a little bit shorter and it wouldn't be as stretchy as the strap you know it would like hold the strap up a little bit I think you could also maybe put some knit interfacing in there maybe, and that would help if you need help with the support. But yeah, there's everybody's really cool, cute looks. Yeah, good one. Good little set. I mean, you kind of have to buy them together, right? <laughs> All right, so this is the addition to the resort collection. This is the Aurora Shorts cropped. That doesn't make sense. Aurora Shorts cropped and pants play suit cropped and pants doesn't it mean i'm confused by that okay we're gonna move on aurora is a knit play suit full of options fitted in the chest semi fitted in the waist and hips loose in the leg choose from strapless or cami style the strapless option has an elastic enclosed neckline for secure fit the cami style has straps with a lot with optional elastic for added support uh, both are finished with a shelf bra. Um, six inseam options. Uh, quick sew. You're blah blah blah. Okay, there's all this. What's the fabric? Okay, suggested fabric is a medium weight knit with at least forty percent stretch horizontally and thirty percent vertical stretch. Fabrics like these named here. Fabrics of less recovery, such as rayon spandex, may grow with wear and fit longer than intended. Yeah, they just stretch out. Fabrics with less vertical stretch may fit tighter through the trunk. I don't think that's accurate. I think vertical stretch goes this way, right? Along the grain line. So it, they wouldn't fit tighter through the trunk. They would fit like you'd have camel toe. Right? So I guess that is tighter yeah, it's hard to explain that, how that would fit, but all right, let's look at these photos. I get this pattern isn't for everyone, right? Like not everybody's pulling off like a strapless play suit, but it is really freaking cute on her, right? Like if I saw this, I'd be like, no way. Also these floppy pockets. No, that's not happening. Not happening. Especially when you have a waist. Oh, that's not a waist seam. That's the sports bra. So this is all one. So interesting. There's only a center front and side seams. There's no horizontal seams at all. Okay, so skip the pockets. Just trust me on that. Okay, let's skip through all of this stuff. All right. Photos. Yeah, I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking, I know that they're like positioning it as like resort, but I'm getting more lounge. Am I alone in that? Oh, look at the three of them. Um, right. I'm getting a little bit more like casual vibes. Maybe that's just how they've styled it here. And not that you can't dress lounge like on a resort, 
Um, okay, this is a little dressier. She did throw on the belt. And like a sandal. She's made hers like in a velvet situation. Yeah, they all kind of look like pajamas. And I think that that's because most of the fabrics that everyone is choosing are on a, they are a lighter weight fabric. That looks like double brush poly to me. Um, which is inherently lightweight and drapey. I think if you were to find a double knit, that might be ITY, um, a double knit or something with a little bit more, maybe even like a Ponty. Ponty might not have enough stretch. So maybe size up. I don't know. I think if you found something that was a little less drapey, it would look a little less like pajamas. This is getting closer. This is very close, actually. Do you see how that looks a little bit more like, like you have to think about what would I make knit pants out of? Like that first pattern we looked at, the, the pull-on pants, like whatever fabrics those were, try those in this pattern. Otherwise, yeah, it kind of looks like pajamas. All that to say, though, making this as loungewear is not a horrible idea. I always love this girl because we have the exact same figure. Like same skin tone, same hair. Like she's like my other than like our distinct facial features. <laughs> We're like twins. Um, so I always love seeing clothes on her. Um, anyways, is that creepy? <laughs> I hope not. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, this looks not like pajamas. But like I was saying, having it as pajamas is not a horrible idea either. That's for sure. You can even, yeah, go this route where it's like one of those, like, um, like a looser fitting version of those bodysuits that everyone's wearing. Um, you could tie your jacket around the waist and just have like a little bit of a looser fit, but kind of the same overall vibe and aesthetic. Yeah, she did really good picking her fabric too. Okay, that's the beginning, I think. Yes. Okay, so that's it for Made for Mermaids. They were busy in August. Um, oh, JK, we have also the Tinsley. Was it? Oh, gosh, we have a Tinley and a Tinsley. Not that they would ever know. <laughs> They're calling their patterns the same. Okay, this is in addition to the Barbell collection. So in addition to the, the active wear type of thing. This is a tennis dress. Sports bra, long line, shorties, and skort. Um, athletic knit pattern full of fun options. All feature a scoop front bodice with seaming. For the back, choose between full back, high scoop, low scoop. I love this one down here. The neckline is finished with thin or thick binding. More than five hemlines. Not feeling a dress. Opt for the separate sports bra. Lined and finished with a band and elastic. Separate long line, which I think is like a long line bra, right? It's not quite a crop top. It's not quite a sports bra. Um, plus separate shorties or skort. So interesting that this one is $12 also. They all come in the same pattern and you get more options. So if you're just looking for a boy short and a sports bra, this is definitely cheaper than buying the other two. Because you still get the same inseams. Granted, they're not... You know, there's not, uh, I don't know. It's tough to say. I see advantages of getting all of them. <laughs> but I'm also like a very bad influence. <laughs> because on this one, there's not pants. But can you lengthen it to pants? Yes. Is it hard? No. But it still takes time. Is it worth $12 of time? It depends. It depends on how busy you are. Um, and then you can also make a skirt using the skirt and shorties. Um, the skirt is A-line with front seaming, optional slits, micro mini or mini links tennis dress with three options finish the bodice with a shelf bra full lining or leave it unlined you can attach the shorties to the dress or leave them off perfect wearing casually okay and then our knit fabrics i don't play tennis so i don't know much about you know tennis dresses but medium weight knits with four-way stretch great recovery and minimum 50 percent horizontal stretch and vertical stretch uh look for high spandex yeah, this is a lot like the other ones, the fabric descriptions for the other patterns. So here is our look. Let's skip through this stuff. All right. Well, that's cute. 
And she did make the little short, too, over here. Wait, why can't that just be like a cute little mini dress? It doesn't have to be tennis. That doesn't look Tennessee to me at all. Not the state. Tennis like <laughs> Tennessee. Get it? Um, there's another one that I guess that one's probably a little bit more sporty, but not a ton. Yeah, the color blocking definitely. And neon. Okay, we're getting a little more sporty as we go here, but still. It's the cutest little mini dress. Would I feel uncomfortable? Like, would people be like, whoa, that's really short. I don't care. <gasps> Look at that one. That's an outfit. That's cool. That's so cute. Yeah, you could just lengthen it just a tad. Right? Or, I don't know, did the skirt have a longer length? Yeah, it had two lengths. I love that. And then you have this set, too. Dang, this is going to be an expensive day for me. Um, I have, um, while I'm thinking about it, linked, or I've listed all of these patterns in the description box. If you want, um, direct links to them, I have put those in my Patreon. So you either Google them yourself or you can join my Patreon and amongst all the other benefits, um, you can get the links quick and easy. Yeah, she's not playing tennis. Not any tennis I've ever seen with that glass of juice did anybody take photos on a tennis court anyone no but i am kind of surprised at how versatile it is right you can definitely go sporty this looks like something you would wear on a cruise come on make it maxi length that would be so pretty you wouldn't even need the shorts if you made it maxi length unless you were worried about shaping which hand raised over here if you can't tell all right. Love Tinsley. Really. Oh, look. Look with the little, like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All of this, yes. Yeah, I think selling it as a tennis dress is probably more, like, just, like, the trend right now. Where is this tennis dress look, but it's so much more than that, too. 12 bucks too, for all of that. All right. Finally, we have... The Patterns for Pirates ruched top and dress. The ruched top and dress is drafted as a snug fit throughout. I love the carousel. I'm not doing anything. It's doing that all by itself. Um, to give a classic curve hugging silhouette, side seams have a small amount of ruching from bust to hip to give a comfortable and forgiving fit. So many links included to fit your per preference for every occasion. Crop, top, and shirt links also include an option for side tides to add a cute detail and to give you more freedom in how much you ruch it up or not. Ruch it up or not. The longer dress lengths, including midi and maxi, have side seam split for a fun to wear, elegant walking vent for the slim fitting skirt. You can add a shelf bra to any option. Gosh, yeah. Um, you can also choose from a higher crew neckline, lower jewel neckline. Just so, so, so many options. That's the same lady. Does she take pictures with wine in all of her photos? That was the same one from the tennis dress. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, so here are all of our options. There's a ton. You know, Patterns for Pirates always has a ton. Um, and then rib knits, cotton spandex, cotton jersey, modal ram, bamboo with good recovery, sweater knit, waffle knit, all of these. All of these. Okay. And the sizing, 2X to plus 5X. Okay. Let's see some of these. Yes. Okay. Wait, the, yeah, ruched. Okay, so I need to find out where's the ruching. Oh, on the side. So it's a t-shirt with ruching on the side. Okay, I mean, okay. I do know how to hack. I know a hack. I posted a video about it, um, oh man, two or three years ago, about how to add this detail to any t-shirt you already own. So I'm feeling a, a certain way about, you know, the pattern with it. I will say, though, that mine is just for a t-shirt and it does not include any options for, like, dresses, you know, things with slits or anything. I mean, she looks absolutely beautiful in hers. Um... We've got a, hers she made into like a little nightgown set. 
with I'm sure some boy shorts that they also sell at Pattern for Pirates. They also do a lot of knits here too. Yeah. Really pretty high neckline version. Yep, a little tank top. That's the shelf bra. That's a pretty sweater knit version. That actually looks like that sweater knit that Style Maker Fabric sells. Crop top. So, yeah, I mean, is it anything revolutionary? No. But if you need a top, like a, like a basic top kind of pattern, you know, you can consider this one. And then also have all these other options to go with it. I don't know that I am a body skimming. Maybe I am. Or maybe I should be. You know? Like, I definitely don't have anything like that in my wardrobe right now. But I also don't look like her. But that's also okay. You know? Here I am. Living my best life. Still worried about body image. My goodness. It happens to all of us. But you just fight through it, you guys. You know? If you don't see yourself in this... Um, go to Goodwill, get, try on one, buy one for $3 and just wear it around the house. No one has to look at you and just see what you think. You know, try it with different jackets and blazers and things and maybe you'd surprise yourself that you'd like it more than you realize. All right, that is it for August part two. Like I said, I have September coming right around the corner, probably this time next week. Um, and October's list is starting. If you want to throw a girl a bone, if you see any new patterns coming out, um, DM me about them and I can add them to the list. But um, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.